Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa arrived in the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia today for a visit to meet the Deputy Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to discuss the historic Bahraini Saudi relations as well as the latest regional and international developments. Upon arrival, in King Abdulaziz International Airport, His Majesty was received by the Deputy Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques and a number of ministers, Ambassador of Bahrain to Saudi Arabia and Bahrain's Consul General in Jeddah. His Majesty the King expressed pride in the strong historic relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which reflect the brotherly ties between the two kingdoms' leaderships and people. He reiterated Bahrain's unwavering stance towards Saudi Arabia in its fight against terrorism in all forms, as well as its supporters and funders. He hailed the efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, in enhancing the unity of both the Arab and Islamic nations for the purpose of maintaining security and stability of the region. His Majesty also noted the role of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia in the defending of the issues of the Islamic nation, expressing his certainty of the success of the Hajj season for this year due to the efforts exerted by the Kingdom for this purpose. He expressed thanks and appreciation for Saudi's continuous development of the services and felicitations provided to the Hajj pilgrims. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa met today with the Deputy Custodian of the Two Holy Mosques, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud in Jeddah. The Deputy of the Two Holy Mosques welcomed the visit of the His Majesty the King and affirmed the strong bilateral brotherly relations and the cooperation in all fields. He conveyed the greetings of the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, and in return, His Majesty requested to convey his greetings to the Saudi monarch. His Majesty expressed thanks and appreciation to the deputy for the warm reception and generous hosting, wishing him further success in assuming his duties to serve his country and contribute to the further success, progress under the leadership of the Saudi king. His Majesty discussed the bilateral strong ties and the efforts to enhance the GCC action to achieve common interest, in addition to the cooperation and coordination between the two countries regarding regional issues. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's strong stance towards Saudi Arabia, praising the efforts of the Kingdom in maintaining security and stability and facing all dangers and interference. He praised the pioneering role of the Saudi under the leadership of the custodian of the two holy mosques in enhancing the Gulf, Arab and Islamic nation, actifying word, strengthening cohesion and defending Arab issues. The meeting included the necessity of Qatar to correct the course of action in its policies in a manner that confirms its commitment to all its previous pledges and meets certain demands in order to preserve the security and stability of the region for all to benefit, including Qatar. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued today Edict 11 for this year, appointing Mariam Abdullah Amin as Director of Construction Projects at the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received at Qadabiya Palace today a number of royal family members and officials in the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister healed the contributions of all Barini citizens in various fields of national action which enhanced the development of the Kingdom and reinforced its regional and international cooperation. His Royal Highness noticed the efforts exerted by the citizens added to the success of the strategies adapted by the government. His Royal Highness the Premier also noted with the audience the historic landmarks in the Kingdom, stressing the importance of preserving this heritage which reflects the history of the country and its people.
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today the United States Ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, William Roebuck, upon completing his diplomatic mission in the Kingdom. He affirmed that maintaining security and stability is vital for development and that terrorism is the prime enemy of a country's development. He underscored that unity against those who finance and support terrorism is key to maintaining the region's security and stability. His Royal Highness also affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on developing the Bahraini-US relations and bolstering cooperation based on the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries. The Premier also affirmed the Kingdom's keenness on cooperating with the region's countries based on the values of understanding, coordination and mutual respect. The two sides discussed the latest regional and international developments where His Royal Highness praised the role of the United States in maintaining global security and stability. For his part, the US Ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Premier for his keenness on bolstering friendly bilateral relations. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received cyclist Razan Suba on the occasion of winning the bronze medal in the 2017 Asian Cycling Championships for women under 23. Also present were the Bahrain Cycling Association's board member Ahmed Al Buenin and coach Munir Al Jurida. His Highness congratulated them on this achievement, which was the result of hard work and perseverance throughout the preliminary stage. He wished Suba further progress and success in future championships. Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts of the BCI's president, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the association's board members and employees. He highlighted the importance of facilitating the work of sports unions to develop the skills and abilities of Bahraini athletes. For her part, National team player Razan Suba expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Nasser for his support, affirming that she will continue to work hard to contribute to the Kingdom's athletic achievements. The Minister of Education, Dr Majid bin Ali Al Noemi, met today with families of Sitra and Al Nabi Saleh, following the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, to assign a number of ministers to check the services sector in the two villages. The Minister briefed the families on the educational services provided by the Ministry in the area, which include 13 schools, transportation services and future education projects. The Minister then answered the questions of the audience in light of the partnership between the Ministry and the local community. He also directed to establish two summer clubs for students in Citra and to form a team to implement programmes that allow the use of school facilities in the evening for the youth. After that, the Minister and the audience toured the facilities and followed up with a comprehensive maintenance work done by the Ministry of Education to develop school's infrastructure as part of the preparations for the new academic year. The Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning, Isam bin Abdullah Khalaf, inspected the work progress of Isa Town's northern entrance traffic light system to examine the flow of traffic, which is part of the project to provide urgent solutions to reduce traffic congestion in vital areas. The project will ensure a smooth flow of traffic in Salmabad Junction. The Minister directed to monitor the traffic density in all lanes daily. The project will reduce the stages of the traffic light from 5 to 3, and there will be traffic diversions for drivers coming from Salmabad, Isa Towngate and Amman Road of Isa Town which will ensure a smooth flow of traffic on the main roads, like Sheikh Salman and Sheikh Isa bin Salman Road. The project aims to increase the capacity of the intersection and reduce the delay time for vehicles, as the current usage percentage of the intersection exceeds its capacity by 21%. The Ministry also approved alternate lanes for drivers to reduce traffic congestion at the intersection. In response to the directors of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, the Minister of Health, Faika bin Said Al Saleh, conducted a visit to Citra Health Centre and Citra Maternity Hospital to review the needs of the citizens and note their observations to improve the health services provided. 
Asala emphasized the ministry's keenness to provide the best health services to the Bahraini society in accordance with the directives of the leadership through elevating the quality of the services provided and promoting their optimal use. Representatives and residents of Citra presented a number of comments and suggestions to the Minister of Health concerning the improvement of current services. Asala highlighted in discussing with the authorities concerned the implementation of all that is possible to benefit the health sector, service users, noting that all observations she studied will be uh, implemented and Upon the directors of His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa to follow up on the needs of various governments in the kingdom and ensure all regions, especially villages, enjoy sufficient government services and Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Hisham bin Mohammed Al Jaida today paid inspection visits to Duras and Bani Jamra villages where he met the villagers and was informed about the youth and sports needs. The Minister lauded His Royal Highness the Premier's directives, which he said reflect his keenness on strengthening interaction across the citizens in the Kingdom in order to fulfil their aspirations. He highlighted the importance of his meetings with local citizens to identify their needs, noting that his field visits will reflect positively on youth and sport movement within the Kingdom. He stressed the need to benefit from available capabilities and to embrace the youth and guide their skills and build a modern structure for national clubs which will contribute to raising awareness among the Bahraini youth. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, directed to activate the Maharik Model Youth Centre and benefit from its great potential to serve the Bahraini youth. The Ministry of Youth and Sports lauded the first edition of the Youth Village as a new initiative by the Ministry which continues to provide initiatives that raise the skills and capabilities of Bahrainis as they are a key component of the economic vision of 2030. Youth and Sports Minister Hisham Al Jaida noted that directors of His Highness Sheikh Nasser aim at focusing efforts and capabilities to serve Bahraini youth in all fields. He stressed that the Ministry is keen to translate these directives through practical programmes such as the establishment of various programmes benefiting the widest group of the Kingdom's citizens from different cities and villages. During his visit to the Maharak Model Centre, the Minister added that similar models of the Youth Village would be established in all governments of the Kingdom in the coming years after the completion of the Model Centres in all governments. <laughs> 